Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Kitten Caboodle, and I wanted to wish all of my subscribers, new and old, a very happy Valentine's Day. And that being said, I wanted to share with you my Valentine's Day haul. Now today I spent most of the day with my boyfriend, and he took me to um, uh, the, one of the Mac Hello Kitty events that they have that they have at my Mac store. Um, they had one where it was like they had it after hours after the store had closed. Uh, but I was actually able to get an appointment. It was very busy. I did have to wait a little bit when I got there, but um, I kind of came prepared with a list of things that I wanted, and my boyfriend let me pick out some stuff. And then we came home with some Cold Stone ice cream. Um, we actually first, I stopped by my mom's house, and she made these for us, which were really cute, and we had some Cold Stone ice cream. But I did I did also get some cards, and this was the first card that I got. My godmother sent it to me, and then I got some other cards. Then we have some beautiful flowers here. And I personally, these are the cards that I got. I got a box of them. They're 20 for $5. I figured there's no sense in spending $4 on a Hallmark card when I can get a box of 20 for $5 and have enough to send them next year. And they're actually very different and unique, which I like. I like things... Um, that pull from different eras and cultures, and these are like Victorian cards. They'll say like, um, does South love me? Things like that. Like this. It's very old-fashioned, very Victorian, with a lot of cherubs, and um, here's one. Like one says, to the one I love most, and like, very Victorian. So those are very cute, and I'll have enough for next year. Those are the cards that I gave. And then on to the, my little haul. Um, like I said, my boyfriend took me to the Mac Hello Kitty um, event. They had several, and I've just been busy. And I don't really... A lot of people get excited about the events when collections come out. That's fine. I'm more of a, I know what I want, here's my list, let me buy it and go. Um, but it's fun to be pampered sometimes, and I figured Valentine's Day, great. They'll do my, um, um, they'll use the makeup that I kind of want to try out and buy, and um, it'll help me figure out what I want. So, we get this, I got this bag, of course. And... Um, I was impressed with the Hello Kitty collection, me personally, um, and I think it's maybe because I do have an inside scoop, like I have a lot of friends that were Mac artists, things of that nature, and so I hear, you know, different little things about, um, you know, the collection, so, I don't know. I go in there very open-minded, but a lot of times I see things that are basically just re-promotes, and I don't want to spend that money on, you know, just the packaging when I can maybe go to Europe or buy clothes or pay for travel to an audition, like, I don't want to pay for packaging. So I did get one item, and I got Fun and Games, which is a very peachy color. This is basically like Paradisco, which is the peach color in, in the palette, Lucky Tom, for your cheeks. And I really liked this. I was going to get either this or um, Blondie from the Blonde Brunette Redhead Collection, but this one looks good on both absolutely bare skin, no makeup, um, to skin that has foundation on it, so I thought it was very wearable, and I'm kind of wanting to buy more colors that are um, wearable, like everyday looks. I have a lot of like going out at night makeup, like bright colors, like Fan Plastico, like wild bright colors, um, because I wear very neutral makeup during the day. So it's kind of like during the day when I don't have to wear makeup, I don't like wearing it at all. So I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup, and it is risen with no sticker, and then of course like glitter in the packaging, but a lot of people, I guess, sometimes get concerned about the sticker. I really don't care. If I don't like something, I just, you know, I won't buy it. I don't buy it because of the packaging, so, I mean, if it has a sticker on it, I don't care. If, if it's the color I want, I want the color, so it's no biggie. So I did get that. Paradisco and Lucky Tom, I mean, I already have Paradisco. It's part of the permanent collection, and the other one has a pink that I already have, so just doesn't make sense for me to pay thirty-eight fifty for a palette that basically almost all the colors, they're MAC of similar colors already. And then I got NW30 Studio Sculpt Concealer. And then I got Studio Sculpt SPF 15 Foundation. And I got NC42. And I was actually surprised that I was 
NC42. I always thought 42 was pretty dark. I mean, the NC42 is pretty dark, but it looks great on me. It looks very natural. And I notice it is a very dewy finish. Um, also, even the concealer, like a MAC's other concealer, tends to be more matty, so you look more caked on. This is very dewy. Like, I have the foundation, the concealer, and the MSF on now, and it's very, I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. I can't even tell. And then I got the 165, and I got this brush for free. And I won't even go into telling you how or why I got it for free, because <laughs> it'll make the video very long, but I'm going to use this for both liquid and highlighting. But, yeah. There was one left, and I wanted it, because it wasn't part of the permanent collection. So, that was awesome. And then I got an, a mineralized skin finish natural in medium dark. So that was my haul, and um, I kind of befriended the artist there. So, I don't know. I told her I have a lot of friends in the DC clubs and stuff, so... I don't know. Maybe we'll hang out one day. She was cool. We got along very well, and I told her I did film, so I wanted makeup that was very natural and light, which I'm really liking. Liking that. Um, it was very busy. People made appointments and were, like, waiting a really long time. Um, and they were wearing the hair bows that I saw at um, Forever 21, and I was like, I should get that and wear it to the Hello Kitty event, and then, lo and behold, they have them. Um, and they all, they were wearing tutus, which I think they got from Hot Topic, because they were, um, crinoline skirts that I saw at Hot Topic. But, um, it's funny, because when they did Cult of Cherry, a lot of Mac stores were calling up my friend's store, Girl Props. Shout out to Girl Props, because Girl Props sells cherry earrings, the cherry necklace, and the cherry pins. So if you liked the, um, the jewelry from Cult of Cherry, check out www.curlprops.com and you can tell them Kitten sent you. Um, and they sell the cherry earrings. And you'll probably see them in one of my videos. Um, I then went to Icing where they had a sale. It was buy one, get the second one 50% off. And I got a uh, shadow for $3.50. And then the second one was a dollar and seventy-five cents. So I got this black, which basically looks like um, it looks like that that black that Matt has. Mac has. I forget what it's called. And it's bigger. So it's like a Mac juice, but bigger. And then I got this white shadow. This looks like Crystal Avalanche from Mac. So check that out. I got that. Looks like I'm gonna treat myself today. And then I got this pin for my um, cousin because I had a gift card from Hot Topic. I like boys who, I heart boys who sparkle. And I think it's this Team Edward or it's this Twilight. Hopefully I'll get on that movie. She would pass out. She would so pass out if I got in that movie. Um, this was $8.80. I got this at Forever 21. It's kind of 80s. And I'm not buying any more clothes after this. I am just, I'm going to be on a no buying. And I got this, Forever 21, cute little vest. I actually exchanged something I had and got this. So that was very cute. And then I also got some leggings. I got navy blue. And I got maroon. And those are $4.50 each, so if you're a leggings person, go and get some. I will be getting some leg warmers soon. And then the last item is, I got some Native American kind of styled earrings for $3.80. And then these for $3.80. And that's all, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And, of course, you guys are all my very, very favorite Valentine's. Thanks. Bye, guys.